Alright. Cool. Okay. Time to do a bit of modifying. Cool. Click on the selection tool and double click on this. Or you can push Alt Enter on your keyboard. This will bring up the properties of the object. Okay. So now, this is all the options which you can change. Every entity has different options. They, most entities have the radius of which way they are facing. They'll have things such as, you can type in their name. Um, you can parent things to other things so that way they'll follow others. You can change things in brightness, you can change the uh, um, AI status, all sorts of different things. Um, and here it's got the pitch, which is basically where it's facing. The brightness and the color, the 255, 255, 255 is the hex color, but you can click on pick color and change which color you want the sun to be, or the sky in this matter. Um, it's best to keep it on white, but you can change it to blue, red, orange, pink, <laughs> if that's what you fancy. Um, or blue, if you want a dark, spooky kind of map, you know. Or green, if you want a sort of sick, you know, you're, you want to puke, that, that sort of thing, you know. But no, we don't want that. I'm going to keep mine as white. 200 is the brightness. Uh, that's a fairly light map, you know, 500 is getting pretty brighter, um, 800 is about the max so you want to put a brightness to, it's a very bright map, now, basically what, um, no, oh crumbs, <laughs> can't even remember any of the names, anyways, um, flat grass, that's it, I think flat grass is on 800, alright. 800, let's keep it as that. Ambient, that's. If you want a map to be brighter, use the ambient. Don't worry about the color, because the color comes in the brightness. Change this here to 800 as well, if you would like to. I'm going to keep it as 20, since I don't know what it'll look like at the moment. So, basically, what I'll be doing now is changing which face, which way it'll be facing. Over here, where it says angles, and it has the sort of, you know, scan sweep thing uh, with a small line in it. It reminds me of maths back in the day. Um, angles, where it says zero, you can change it to up or down. Or you can click on this here and change which degree you would like it to be at. As it states underneath angles where it said up or down. You can change it to whichever way you would like it to be. You can do this with light underscore spot, you can do it with player starts, you can do it with all sorts of other stuff. I'm going to change mine to down, since I want it to be facing straight down on the map, since there are no walls, so there will not be any point on me adding in um, a actual degree of it being 90 degrees or anything, so that way it's facing from the left wall into the map, or anything like that. So, yeah, let's keep that at down, and go apply. Cool. So that's our map for now. Also, if you want to add in things like weapons and such, you can click on the drop box, scroll all the way down, and you can click on which weapon you'd like to put in, such as crowbars, or, you know, you can put in an SMG, or something like that. We can scroll up to the top where it has NPC underscore. You can put in some NPCs for your um, for you to kill, or if you'd like to put in a um, a buggy or you know something like that, it should be under NPC as well. There should be something in there called. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, APC driver, that's not exactly what you think it is, it's basically a dummy, so you don't really want to be using that. Uh, crane driver, basically the same. Okay, I know there's somewhere. Alright, 
Let's take a search. Oops. Okay, I think I know how to find it now. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I'm not not using the orange box engine. There's the thing. Oh, here we go. It's under props. Props I was called vehicle, jeep, APC, airboat. So you can add in yourself an airboat. So there's one when you start, or you can add in a jeep, you know. You know, and that sort of stuff. We don't need that at the moment. Okay. But yeah, that's the thing, you know. There's a difference between the episode 1 and the orange box. Like before I tried searching for something, I couldn't search because you can only search in the orange box engine. But you can't map for things in the episode 1 because they use different engines, you know. You can't, it's like you can't map for um, Wolfenstein 3D with the Doom 3 editor because they work on different engines, they have different codes and the games won't be able to um, figure out where the walls are, what the entities are, what they're meant to do and such. Okay, so let's go File, Save As, okay, it's always best to save. Keep on saving, do not um, work on a real big awesome as map that took you all day and forget to save because what if your computer crashes or steam crashes you know you've lost all your work unless the autosave has done its job in saving your work that only works maybe once every 10 minutes or something you know okay let's save this